Hi, it's Light Block Mountain with another build, and this one is a very intricate and I'm not gonna say it's more difficult than the others, but oh, maybe stylistically it was more difficult. Um, so this is an Egyptian tomb. Well, it was initially, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it like more historically accurate, but I actually looked on the gallery and it looks like there were a couple that were already, well, at least one that was like kind of historically accurate. So I was like, okay, maybe I won't do that. And I'll go with my original idea of making this giant sarcophagus. Um, I have no idea how I came up with this idea, but I wanted it so that you could literally like go inside of it. And I wanted to make sure that I could decorate it. Um, so this is me doing that. It was actually really difficult because a lot of, well, okay, at first I kind of forgot that <laughs> you could, I don't know why I always forget that you can use the quarter tiles. And so I was trying to do it without those. And yeah, it was also just difficult because there's this actual, a lot of the patterns that are on the sarcophagi guses are really intricate and like small. And so obviously like this is more like pixel art type thing, but it just made it really difficult, especially with the hands crossing that was super difficult and I was trying to maybe like add some depth with the colors and that kind of thing so you could see what was going on but it you really couldn't so I tried my best to like simplify it and also you know the colors that are available in a lot of the tiles are not what I needed um so I I really wanted that yellow to represent the gold because it was so bright, but then I realized that I probably shouldn't use it because it's not technically like a tile and it was really hard to match with other things. Just in general, it's just really hard to match all of the tiles or floors in general with each other when doing this kind of thing. And so then I went with those more textured tiles and I had to go back and forth and back and forth, which was really frustrating, but I eventually got it. So you can see here that I actually only have like the main sarcophagus um, and then the little stairway, but later I'll go back in and add more rooms. I did want it to be functional and kind of still have like the vibe of like an actual tomb that has like all of those amenities. Cause you know, like historically, they basically just built like an entire world for them under there. So they would have like servants like painted all over the walls and uh, prairies and fishing and like all of these things. They would like bury entire boats and things with like, just give everything that they needed um, along with like an altar and um, like cooking supplies and that kind of thing. So that's kind of why this is like a residential house rather than like a more community lot. I think I accidentally might've made it really extra difficult to even play on this lot though, because I added the creepy crawlies and the, I think, did I add the dirty or s something else? Like all of those kinds of things. So let me know if it's absolutely terrible sorry yeah i ended up adding i added as much as i could and i did make it off the grid uh because you know it's ancient times they don't have power <laughs> but uh they i really i don't know how i end up doing all of, like these off the grid builds wait i haven't even done an off the grid build on here what, what am I saying? I don't know. I feel like somehow I end up trying to always do off the grid stuff and then it just doesn't work um, because I don't have the right style of things. So they really need to come out with a lot more off the grid things. Cause I honestly, I love that feature or at least the idea of it. I, I haven't played much with it. Like obviously it's a little bit hard because then you don't have access to the computer and that kind of thing, but they can just go to the library. Like, come on. Oh my god. Okay, I love this. So I decided that I needed to actually make the mummy like So this is literally like 
the body that you're like in that he's on like living in the sarcophagus and like i made those white lined walls to be kind of like the mummy wrappings um and yeah initially i was gonna use like a um more muscly like red and bone type of thing but then i was like oh but they're actually like dried out and brown <laughs> so i think it looks good i did end up like covering it a lot which was kind of sad oh my god okay so i ended up using that cat wallpaper even though like it's like not it doesn't really fit the style but like you know they loved cats so i just i had to include it and like it was a tile so it was perfect and i actually bought um this that uh shoot what pack is it that has all of these wallpapers the tiled um the like oasis something pack and so i know that it's it's more modern for sure than what would have actually been around then but i figured it was at least like from the general like geographic locate like it had more of that vibe like I know it's a bit more Middle Eastern the, at least the references that I was looking at the Egyptian architecture was almost like a bit more Roman like or Greek which was why I decided to use those columns instead of like I tried out some other columns but it was really a challenge to make it actually feel Egyptian because we don't have anything that's like actually purposefully stylized that way. So like using the, what is it? The jungle pack. I used a lot of um, in the altar, those things uh, because, you know, it's like ancient stuff. And even though it's more Aztec inspired, I needed something, you know? And so that was the closest thing. One thing that I didn't or wasn't able to do, kind of because I chose a bit of a smaller lot, was make more tunnels because they tried to use a lot of tunnels to like keep robbers out or whatever, which didn't really work, but I just didn't really have the room for it. So I tried to add like those itty bitty staircases to mimic that. But yeah, I, that's one thing is I wish that I could have had more tunnels. The other thing is that uh, it was difficult to figure out all the items they could use because, the, you know, there's no TV, there's no um, radio and that kind of thing. And so, I mean, I guess there are a lot of items that aren't... Th there's a decent amount, but like, okay, one thing. I want more instruments because obviously they had different instruments than they back then than they do now so like a harp would be awesome or um like a flute or or some sort of like wind instrument you know what's another one uh i i know back then they had what did they have like a a lyre is that what it is or a mandolin something like that I don't really know <laughs> so yeah that's one thing and oh oh my gosh okay so the other thing is that I was like okay this you can see here I'm making a little like it, it wouldn't let me say the word in the gallery I said peasant but I'm gonna say it here slaves because they they are servants so, okay well, no we'll use servants yes okay we'll use servants but everybody uses it, or at least not everybody. But in school, they had us use the word slaves because I guess they kind of were. So I know that technically the slaves in Egyptian times were treated better than other slaves in like other cultures and that kind of thing. But I still think it's relevant to make their places not as nice at least their sleeping amenities, but they are the Pharaoh's servants. So that's why they also have like all of these other amenities like the hookah and the games and stuff. And, but so yeah, I made, I had the idea that there would be some, a servant's quarter. And so that's what all of the bunk beds are. And so you can have eight servants. And so <laughs> I had this idea that you would be able to lock the, f whoever the Pharaoh is inside the sarcophagus and that 
the, the servants would have to do everything, like all the cooking, all the everything, and bring his food to him. And so then you had to, the, the challenge is kind of that you have to figure out how to entertain him while he's there. And I figured like, okay, yeah, you can have visitors come over and that kind of thing, but he like literally never sees the light of day. Even though like technically in the mythology, the people that are buried with the Pharaoh are able to like pass through, through to like the outside world through a special door. But I, I wasn't, really fully sure how to do that. They also, the the off the grid cooking instruments. So I added the grill in there because it was like the most authentic to like what they actually had. But there are like certain foods that I wanted them to be able to create that you can't make with the grill like in The Sims, I think, but they were able to actually make back then so that's why I added the extra stove even though it's like technically not accurate so the other thing that I wanted to make sure was functional was the kind of altar space um, because that was such a big part of the actual like one burial process and to like such a big portion of even the reason why they even made these things so <laughs> what I did was I added like the kava bowl because I felt it I don't know it was really difficult to find things at, again because of like the cultural the different cultural things that I'm working with here in the sims so I thought like okay the kava bowl is like a ceremonial type liquid that you drink so I I don't know it's ceremonial so I just put it in there and I used everything that had like jars because of the way that they save the organs and that kind of stuff yeah like I used a lot of tables and put a lot of like urns and that kind of thing around and another pack I got was like I think it's the spooky pack or one of those that uh, has the seance table, which I thought was a cool idea. And because I did make this a haunted residential, um, because I figured, I mean, it's about dead people, so, uh, or a dead person. Um, so I figured ghosts would be appropriate. And because it's kind of like talking to ghosts would be interesting. I've never played with it. I mean, I just got it. So yeah, and I thought like the design fit generally. And so I kind of tried to fit it in the corner of the, the ceremonial area. And then I also added the kind of those meditation spots so that they could pretend to be praying, I guess. I don't know if they even did that or that kind of thing, but I figured uh, the vibe w was, you know, the intention was there. And then also the other thing that I added was the... Um, what is that that fountain, the rich fountain, you know, from Get Famous? Because one, I thought it's like very luxurious and looks like it could be ceremonial, but then also it like has like an effect to them. And I figured that would just be funny for gameplay purposes. Another detail you can see here in the bathroom that I wanted to add was that uh, the Pharaoh has like a little makeup station. So I thought that was just like a really cute detail. But in general, I actually had a hard time decorating inside the sarcophagus because it was like, what is in there? Nothing except the body. And actually, oh, okay, here, I actually had a really hard time with like what to do with this big area because usually I, the builds that I make somehow end up being like really cramped. And so with all this space, I was like, what do I do? <laughs> um, so I just added like all like game tables and a bar and more meditation area and that kind of thing. And I know, okay, I know technically they wouldn't have live plants down there but I, I do think they did put like dry plants and that kind of thing to leave them preserved as like supplies. But I don't know if, if the premise is that they're alive or they're 
growing their own food and that kind of thing like I, I figure that maybe some plants would be alive you know um, and I also put some pots around for them to be able to actually make some plants and I actually also did put some plots above ground again because of the idea that they could technically go outside in the real world and do other things but also I just needed more space and I thought they would need a lot of food because there's so many of them and so I figured yeah we probably need the bigger plots. Oh also funny thing so where the stairs are in the sarcophagus are like the beard. <laughs> I don't know I just thought like I just because like the beard was like a status symbol so like and the idea also is that like oh if there was like a secret latch door, that's how it would open. And so that's like the only way in. Well, unless you're in the, unless you're a servant. But the idea is that like, oh, if you were like trying to grave rob or whatever, you'd have to find this secret passageway. But they really should make like a little latch door. Unless there's one I don't know about. Cause honestly, I haven't done even a lot of the gameplay for the jungle or really honestly really any of them I don't play that much I mostly build so when I was going in and trying to collect all of the stuff for all the treasures because they have like an entire treasure room usually I literally even if it was like a little bit more modern I still put it because I figured oh they're usually kind of like collectors things you know riches and that kind of thing so like Usually when people have riches or whatever, it's like stuff from kind of around the world. So like, I don't know if they actually had that, but I just kind of did it because of all the limited items, you know? Yeah, I, I do wish there was more like hieroglyph type things. You know, I tried to add some, it was kind of hard. And so, yeah, that's why I put the tile everywhere. And it kind of works like I like that I was able to use the columns to kind of break up the tile to kind of pretend that like oh this is a section of something this is a section of something you know because I think they did actually kind of you know have sections of hieroglyphs and that kind of thing but I wasn't really able to fully achieve that and also there is a third bathroom because I wanted it so that if you have guests in you know the actual sims i wanted it so that you could lock the servants bathroom to just the servants and lock the pharaoh's bathroom to just the pharaoh and then maybe occasionally a servant but then everybody else would have to use this other bathroom also because he's dead i figured maybe he could be a vampire and that's why i put the coffin in there i mean he doesn't have to be a vampire i don't know if humans can use the coffin too i'm hoping because i don't think he should have to be a vampire but i think it also adds to the story and would make it a lot more fun and then it would be great because he's also never seeing the light of day so he won't really die yeah oh my gosh that was the other thing was that i was gonna so because there's like fewer activities and that kind of thing and because they are servants i figured that it would be good to have the laundry day stuff in here and so i put the uh, little wash tub and hanger outside even though I wanted it to be inside, but one, the clothes wouldn't actually dry and well, maybe they would in, in the sim, but technically you aren't even allowed to put the dryer inside. So yeah, that's what I did. And then, oh my gosh, we're already coming up to the end. What? Okay. Um, yeah. So I wanted to make it look like it was hiding and oh yeah, I thought about like putting chickens and the horses and that kind of thing, but apparently I looked it up and chickens... They apparently didn't really eat chickens until like, I don't know, after BC, like BCE. And so I was like, oh, okay. And then the horses, uh, that was just too difficult. So just pretend there's horses there. Like I know they had the intention of like allowing horses and camels and like a whole bunch of livestock and stuff. But um, you know, we don't have sheep and goats here in The Sims, unfortunately. So, and I did make sure that you could go through the door, but when I did re like upload it or reopen it, the door disappeared. So you might have to figure that out, yeah. Just a little disclaimer here. 
I didn't do that much research for this, like I did a little bit, but most of this was all from memory, from classes that I've taken, and then also just my general uh, nosy interest. <laughs> I'm also realizing that I didn't put any rugs, even though like textiles were super big, and that is mostly just because I didn't want to cover up a lot of the decorating that I did on the floor or I just thought, well, no, honestly, I just kind of forgot. I probably should have, but oh well, whoops. So I'm going to close out here with a subscribe and also my tag on the gallery is uh, Lightblock Mountain, same as on here. And so go download it if you want to check it out and let me know how you like it. Hopefully you have fun. And again, please wait for the surprise at the end. Thank you for watching it. Thank you for watching it. Let me know if you get that reference.